morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I'm going to walk you through this 2024 Winnebago Revel. This is actually a twin to the one that Mark did yesterday but this one is also available and I really like the color it kind of matches my Nuggets hat. Go Nuggets! So I kind of wanted to go over it today. Um, it's a 24 on the new chassis. The 2025 should be coming out soon. Uh, as soon as we get one of those, I'd love to video that one as well, just to kind of show you the differences. But we're going to get started right here. Do you want to say happy Super Bowl weekend? Hope your favorite team wins. I don't have any favorites in, in this dogfight, uh, but we'll see who wins. Let me know who you think is going to win it all. We're going to start up front. This is going to be on the Mercedes 2500 chassis. This is the new two liter engine. So you're going to have 211 horsepower, 332 pound feet of torque. And it is a twin turbo. We've got our upgraded wheels and tires here. So we have the method wheels with the BF Goodrich KO2 tires. And these tires are 245, 70 on 17 inch wheels. If we move back, you can see we have our fixed running board. We do have a tie down ring on both sides and we've got some lights there. You can also see we have our porch light on and our awning lights on. So it's a little cloudy today. No need to bring out the awning. We'll do that whenever the sun starts popping out a little bit more. In case you're wondering, I get questions on the video sometimes. This is your actual exhaust for the Sprinter, for your chassis. So that's your exhaust. So we move around the back here. A couple things to point out. We have our backup camera up top. We have our 5,000 pound rated tow hitch right here. And we do have a seven pin connector right here. So you can plug in your, whatever you're towing, whether it's a, a small car, whether it's a toy, a side-by-side, -side, whatever you may have. I'm going to put this down. I'm going to go ahead and take the ladder off and kind of show you how you would use the ladder. This is here only for storage. If you watched any of my videos, I stress that every time. You don't want to climb it while it's on here because you don't want to put dents on the back door there. So if you do need to climb up there to wipe down your solar panels or anything like that, uh, you're gonna move the ladder, put it anywhere up on the uh, luggage rack up there so that it'll sit on this plastic, kind of gives it a little backer so that you're not damaging the van. So I'm gonna climb up here and show you what it looks like. All right, up top, you're gonna have your Coleman Mach Q air conditioner that runs off of your lithium battery pack. You're going to have your max fan and you're going to have a couple solar panels up here. So you can see not a lot of extra space if you're wanting to add luggage up top. Thank you. Once you're done up there, you're done cleaning your solar panels. You're gonna to wanna to put this back where it goes. If you haven't seen the floor plan, the new 25 Revel, if you haven't seen any, any of the pictures or videos or anything yet, it's pretty exciting news. They're gonna have a permanently mounted ladder back here, which is kind of nice. Kind of giving you some accessories uh, as a standard option as opposed to having you do it all aftermarket so it's kind of nice back here we're going to have our roll up screen so you can black out your rear windows uh, you can use it to get fresh air on a nice warm day i'm going to show this right here a couple switches here on your water bay so you're going to have your water pump and then this red light is actually your uh, your side porch light on the passenger side so um, I'm going to turn that on so you can see what that looks like. You have your outdoor heated, you have hot and cold shower. 
You have all your valves here, a really nice system. So if you want to just fill, if you want to do city water, if you want to winterize, if you want to just fill your tank or do dry camping, you just move the valves into those positions. Right here's where your hose goes. Really easy to use system, I really like that. On this side, you're gonna have your inverter with uh, Zantrax 2000 watt inverter on and off. You're gonna have your garage light switch here. So these are gonna be your lights that are under the bed. That way if your bed is down and you're moving gear around, you have some light in there if it's nighttime. A couple USB ports and then an external solar port so if you want to add another solar panel while you're parked you can plug a, a portable one in there and run it outside and put it where the sun is give you a little more uh, additional solar power the rebel is going to be a 30 amp service coach uh, so it does come with a, a 30 amp cord that you would plug in uh, if you're in an RV park or if you happen to have a 30 amp connection at home. If you don't and you have just a standard outlet, you can buy an adapter to go from 30 amp to a standard outlet. Here's that porch light that I was talking about on the passenger or driver's side. Under here you're going to see your gray tank dump. So this is going to be where you hook up your hose, your valve to release it so you can dump your tank. You're going to have 21 gallons of fresh water and 21 gallons of gray. You're also going to have a five gallon cassette. So when it comes time to dump your tank, you're going to take the blue cap off. You're going to put that into the sewer inlet or a porta potty or wherever you're dumping. This blue valve here, that's going to uh, basically allow air to get in and help you to drain it. So it's just your vent. It does have wheels. And this does lock. You want to keep that locked when you're out and about on the road because people do actually steal those. Here on the driver's side, we have another fixed running board. This hose right here that comes under here is going to be the exhaust for your furnace. So this is a diesel, it's a sprinter, so it is diesel fuel. This is where you fill your fuel. Under here you're going to have your fuses for your chassis. You have a lot of adjustments on your seat. You can lower it the back. You can raise it. You're going to have lumbar. And then you can tilt this front piece or bring it down. And then there's also a small extension here. So a lot of adjustments so you can have a nice comfortable ride. We're going to have power windows, power door locks, and mirrors. On this side, you're going to have your lights so you can, right now they're set for auto. You can always turn them on. Uh, fog lights. And then right here is your hood latch release on the inside here. Go ahead and pop that open. Again, this is the new two liter twin turbo engine from Mercedes with 211 horsepower, 332 pound feet of torque. A couple important things in here. Main one is if you run your batteries low, you need to get a jump. Here's where you hook up your positive cable. Your ground is going to be right over here on the right side. There you go. And then windshield washer fluid, your coolant and your def. So you want to make sure you keep your def full. Make sure you clean up around it. Uh, if you spill it, it gets real crusty and white. It's not, uh, not a very attractive look on, the, on your van. So make sure you keep that nice and clean.
There's a step here that you can use if you need to climb up to clean the windshield so you can't actually stand on there and climb up. You know what? Actually, what I'm going to do here to start on the passenger side, just kind of show you what's under the seat, a little storage. On this side, you're going to have your jack. Same on the passenger seat, you can adjust it, you can raise it, you can lower it, backrest, and then the front. This actually goes up and down, which is nice. Allows you to really set it so that it's comfy. Now up front here, while I'm up here, I'm gonna go ahead and swivel this seat around so I can show you that when I get inside. Out here on the main sliding door, you're gonna have access to your, your outside table. This is really nice. You can actually cook out here. This has an induction cooktop that's in one of the drawers, which I'll show you. You can cook inside or you can plug it in. You can set it here and plug in right here. There's an outlet. This cable will allow you to level the table if you're on un uneven ground. So you can actually move it around and make it level. Right here, you're gonna have your fresh water drains. As we walk in, there's a really nice ram mount grab bar to help you in and out. Right below the seat, you're gonna have our fire extinguisher. So this lever here allows you to move this backward and forward. This is gonna be your swivel. So really easy to do. Over on this side, we're gonna have our refrigerator it's a 12 volt nova cool refrigerator easy to access from outside when you're loading your groceries you're gonna have your outlets right here your awning controls and awning lights this is going to turn on the lights under the bar there under your running board and then this is going to do your porch light turn on and off your porch light Right here, we're gonna have some breakers. Everything is labeled. You're gonna have your fuses on that side. Right here, we have a storage cubby. Nice spot. We're gonna have our table and our seats here. This does seat two. There's two seat belts here. I'll take that off to show you here. There's another hidden cubby behind it. Under your seat, there's a, another storage compartment, and that's where you store your counter extension. Your counter extension is going to go right here. Your induction cooktop stored in this cabin in this drawer here. So now, you, like I mentioned, you can cook up here, cook outside. Put this away. When you put your cushions back, there is a, a snap here, so you can snap it in place so it's not coming off. Your table here, you can leave it while you're going down the road, or you can store it up top in the overhead compartment. So, really nice spot there to store your table. Your blackout shades are also up top. Let me get this stuff out of the way here. So up here behind your 
dining area basically. You're gonna have your main controls. A couple things to point out here. We're gonna have our solar charge controller, our Xantrax inverter controls, our one place tank monitor. You can turn on your water pump here, check your tank levels and your battery levels. This disconnect is gonna shut off your solar charge controller. So if you're gonna be storing it indoors for the winter, you would turn that off so there's no parasitic draws. These are gonna be your lights your furnace and hot water heater. So right now I have the furnace set. You want to turn on the hot water, you just click on that icon there. And then your bed is on a power lift here, so. I'll let you kind of show that real quick. Then I'll raise it back up so we can see what it looks like underneath. Nice comfy bed. You can actually stop it anywhere um, from the top all the way to the bottom and ride with it like that. You, you can now see the air conditioner up top. The air conditioner does have a Bluetooth control. I can walk you through how to set that up if you uh, have any questions on it. I'll go ahead and raise it up. It's also a smoke detector right up top by the air conditioner. The Revel is 10 foot in height to the top of the air conditioner. You're 19 foot 7 inches in length. You got some nice storage in here. You're going to have your Winnebago owner's manuals. Over on this side, you're going to have another outlet, some USB ports, and a 12 volt outlet. Up top here, you're going to have a roof access port. So if you want to add a cradle point, a Wii Boost, a Starlink, whatever you want to add to it, uh, you can run cables through here without having to run any additional, um, or drill any additional holes, I should say. Close this up. Over here in the kitchen area, I already showed you the induction cooktop. You're going to have your sink, have a couple storage drawers. This is actually a nice size one if you had a small waste basket. This switch here is actually to help you uh, drain your, uh, your sink. It's not a garbage disposal, so when you have water in there, you can turn that on, it helps you drain the sink. You have a nice storage basket right here and some additional uh, USB ports there. And again, you're gonna have some more additional storage up top. Nice pantry with adjustable shelves. All right. And then of course you're gonna have your, your shower. So this comes equipped with two shelves here, so you can use it as a closet if you like. There's a rod up here to hang clothes on. I'll go ahead and lift this up so you can see the toilet. The toilet does pivot, so it will turn in both directions. A lot of people like to use the additional storage, so they'll just keep the shelves on there. In here, you're gonna get a, your shower uh, hose. You're gonna have an external shower hose, a sewer hose, your shower curtain. Also make sure if you purchase a new one, whether from us or anywhere else, that you do have this tool in your kit. This is gonna help you change your, your tires. This also helps you release the spare tire that's underneath the chassis. I mentioned earlier, this does have a 30 amp connection. So this is your 30 amp shore cord. In here, under the bed, I want to kind of show you the battery system here. So you're going to have one 320 amp hour lithionics battery. You can see that blue ring means the power is on. If that ring is flashing, 
um, or whether it's a slow flash or a, a rapid flash, that means different things. So you want to keep an eye on that. If it gets really cold, it'll go into uh, basically protection mode and it will not turn on until it warms up. You're going to have your Xantrex 2000 watt inverter. And then this is your Balmar basically relay that um, ties your Balmar alternator under the hood to your charging system. So it helps charge your battery while your engine is running. Down here, you're gonna have your tie down rings. So you're gonna have six tie down rings along the bottom so you can tie your gear down. A couple little net pockets here for additional storage. Under your bed, you're gonna have a nice little pouch here so you can, again, store some more gear. And then you have this net down here as well. So blankets, bigger stuff that you can just tie it down in here. It's really nice to have. And now we'll go into the cab. All right, as I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna go ahead and start this up. This is on the new 23 chassis. Um, so it is the two liter all wheel drive. It's not the four by four like before, it's an all wheel drive. Everything else has pretty much stayed the same. You're still gonna have your, your two glove boxes, one on each side, your power cubby in here. So you're gonna have your USB type C connections in there, wireless charging pad, and then also a 12 volt outlet. All this remains the same as the last year's model. Same with your screen here. This can be accessed push button right here, or you can control it with the steering wheel. So this small mouse pad here on the right side is gonna control your stereo. Go to navigation, it does have navigation. There's a lot on this stereo system. You can go to smartphone and you can actually go to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. There's always a, a back arrow and a home button. So you can go back one screen, hit home, and it'll take you back to the home screen. So again, this controls that. You also have your phone controls here and your volume. Down here is gonna be your heating and cooling. So you can set your temperature. And then this over here is gonna adjust your fan speed. Hazard lights, your max defrost, your circulation, your rear defrost, and your AC. Plenty of cup holders throughout. Down here is a slot for your key. Also down here, you're gonna have a 12 volt outlet and you're gonna have a USB type C connection down here. Push button start. Your shifter is gonna be right here. To put it in park, you're gonna push the button on the end that's gonna put you in park. Reverse, neutral, and drive are accessed by just pushing up and down on the wand. Put it, again, you push on the end for park. The mouse pad on the left side of the steering wheel, as I mentioned earlier, is going to control this. So right now you can go to your uh, assist. This does have adaptive cruise, so you can set it on here and you can set how many car lengths behind you want to be or how many feet behind the car in front of you you want to go and it'll adjust accordingly. So really nice safety feature to have. Your uh, windshield wipers are on this left side. And let's see here. I believe that pretty much covers it. Sun visors. You do have a nice little storage compartment over each side of your sun visors, which are really nice to have. Any questions you have on this video, please feel free to give me a call, shoot me a text, shoot me an email. Uh, if you want additional footage or additional pictures, you can always call, text, or email. Uh, I can do a FaceTime with you if you need additional help on any of this stuff up here. Uh, there's a lot of really good videos, in-depth videos on this MBUX system. So uh, 
if you need a good link, I can send you one or I can kind of walk you through it uh, over the phone. So feel free to give me a call. This unit is available, as I mentioned. This is stock number 5N240139. Uh, so give me a call if you'd like for me to be your salesman and answer any questions. Si hablo español, me pueden hablar al 720-276-4241. Thank you guys, and we'll see you next week. Don't forget, let me know who you think is going to win the Super Bowl again. I don't have any favorites in this fight, so uh, good luck to your favorite team. Take care.